My name is uh, Sheila Walsh and I'm the program coordinator for the radio broadcasting two-year diploma program. I'm actually a Humber student myself. I went through the program uh, many, many years ago and uh, spent 20 years in the industry and um, have been teaching here for the past 10 and uh, was named program coordinator just over the uh, the past summer. I can name several people on um, on morning shows here in Toronto who went through the program. Billie Holiday, Colleen Rushholm, Ashley Greco, uh, Rudy Blair. What makes our program so wonderful is uh, it's, it was established back in 1972 and we cover everything in our two-year program in front of the mic and behind the mic and what that means is when you're in front of the mic you're learning uh, to speak properly um, you're learning announcer technology you're learning um, you know how to be um, a news anchor a news reporter a news producer so that's everything that's uh, you know in front of the mic and more behind the mic you're learning to be um, a producer at a, a sound uh, editor you're learning uh, commercial production you're learning commercial writing you're learning script writing you're learning um, sales and marketing and promotion and programming. You're learning everything there is to know about radio. First year it's basics uh, and then in second year um, it's, it's taking the basics and intensifying them, choosing a pathway um, and then going with it. If you meet certain prerequisites in first year and you want to be on the air, which is our licensed radio station 96.9 Radio Humber, then you are um, you are trained intensely in that uh, area. So you're you're given on-air shifts where you're being a jock or you're being a, a traffic reporter, you're being an, um, an entertainment reporter, you're doing a news and car current affairs show, you're doing play-by-play -play for the Humber Hawks. Our on-air station is uh, 60 watts, so it's not a huge amount of space. It's, it's certainly around uh, 10, 20 miles within the campus radio station, but we stream live. So anywhere in the world can hear you on the air. Internet radio and podcasting and blogging, Facebook, Twitter, all that's very important to radio. So we're incorporating that into our curriculum as well. We also offer uh, students an internship placement and what that is is um, at the end of the second year or sometimes concurrently in second year providing it doesn't interfere with uh, studies and attendance. Um, it's 160 hours usually unpaid placement within a real broadcast environment. We work with every major player in Toronto and other stations across Canada. We work with record companies. We work with television stations. We have amazing internships for, for students to get real uh, real-time experience that they can add to their resumes. Uh, some of our placements include 680 News, uh, Fan 590, Talk 640, Q107, The Edge. We have students go to ET Canada, um, you know, um, Sportsnet, um, Universal Records. So, you know, you're, you're leaving our course with an incredibly well-rounded, um, um, diverse experience that, you know, will take you very far. We are looking for students, of course, who are passionate about radio who know radio and who are interested in radio. We have people applying to the program and we ask them during our interview process, what radio station do you listen to? Well, I don't really listen to radio. I listen to the iPod. And that's great, but this is radio and it's incredibly competitive and you're going to need to know the industry and the players in order to get a job. So that's the first thing you need to know. You need to know radio. You need to know current events. You'll get the Dear Applicant letter which will outline exactly everything we, uh, we require from you. Um, what we do is we ask you to attend an orientation session and at this orientation session it'll be myself and another faculty member um, and we will be talking talking to you about um, uh, why, again, why you want to get into the industry and um, you're going to be filling out a questionnaire which is attached to the, um, which is attached to the application. That questionnaire will uh, let us know a little bit about you, your background, if you have any experience, why you chose Humber, why radio. Um, in our interview we're going to ask you to read a script so we get a, a, an idea of your articulation and you know your voice. Not everyone wants to be on the air but it's still good to know that you know you can string a sentence together. The more you can do between now and then to bring to us in the interview um, that shows you're really serious about this and you really want to be a contender is is great. So if you have an opportunity to go and, and, and tour a radio station or job shadow someone, if you know someone in the industry right now who you can call up and say, I'm thinking of, of getting into Humber College and applying and I know it's really competitive, can I come down and see what you do for a day so I have a, a knowledge. 
um, you know, maybe a reference letter from somebody in the industry who you know or, or somebody who you've worked closely with who really can, you know, um, talk about your character and your dedication and your focus. We need to know when you're coming into our course and you're applying that you have those, um, those character traits, that you are focused, that you are dedicated, that you are punctual, that you can meet deadlines. Deadlines is the main thing in this industry. It's a deadline-driven industry. And if you're not used to, you know, handing something in on time, that's not going to fly in this course. You're, you're, you know, we're really tough about that because we're not going to be doing you any favors if we let something like that slide and then you go to, to get a job and they're saying you're not meeting the deadlines, you're out. I'll take the other 20 people lined up behind you for that job. So we're a little tough, but we're tough for a reason because we want you to be prepared to, to go out into the industry and be successful and be one of the many people we talk about in interviews such as this.